Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q3 of Weekly Contest 292, count number of taxes. So this one is pretty tricky if you haven't done it before. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem and also just this contest, right? What was that? A lot of issues. Um, the, the first thing that I would say is remember the modular. I, I, I'm I really guilty of always forgetting it, so I sing the mod song. I go, I go something like mod, 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 until I type out uh, the mod thing first and then we turn the mod uh, on the answer but yeah um so the key thing about the, and also they, they're very kind to some they don't they're not always kind but sometimes they are and this one they gave you an example that does require you to use the mod so you don't forget so that's always good but the key part about this one is just dynamic programming right um and this is something that i know maybe some people will say this is easy maybe some people will say this is standard um but as all these things are uh these things can be tricky if you haven't done it before. So the idea behind the dynamic programming problem is that that um, there's this ambiguity, right, of how to interpret uh, this thing, right? So let, let's look at a number, and you know, let's look at these numbers, and then maybe I'll add some digits. Uh, I think there's no ones, but but basically the idea is that um, the number of, there are different ways to interpret these strings, right? Let's actually go back to just twos for now, actually. Maybe that's slightly easier. Uh, and let's say that, okay, there's only one way to interpret this two. So then now we set it up so that how many ways are there to interpret the prefix of what this is, right? Meaning that if, let's ignore all these things to the right, if this is the entire text, how many ways are there to interpret this, right? So here, that, that's gonna be simple, it's just one. And then now you add in number one at a time. How many ways are there to interpret the two, two, right? Um, and here, well, there's one way is that if, one way is that if, if you have two, uh, you only press one by itself. So basically you have two different uh, characters, right? So that's one way. The other way is if the twos are grouped together, right? So then now you add them together and so forth. And I think there's two. Um, and then now you do the same thing. You do three, right? And then now you go, okay, let's say you have two to two. What does that mean? That means that one way to interpret it using this new character is that, um, you know, this is, this is just the, the prefix plus two, right? So that's one way to do it. The second way is that there's a prefix plus two twos. And then the third way is, well, maybe th this hour is confusing actually. Um, yeah, so that's one way. That's the second way. And the third way is if you have no prefix and you have three twos, right? To make up one character, which is a C. So this is, if this is A, this is, this is B, this is, this is C. And of course, now you add that to the number of ways to do it before that. And that's basically the idea. Um, and it becomes kind of like, if you really think about it, like the like a variation of Fibonacci where you're just adding it x minus one or x minus two, but with an if conditions, because now let's say you have two fours, right? Uh, four two, sorry. Um, then now you have some some prefix. I'm just, just going to write p for p for prefix, and then now you this could be an uh, an a with some random, you know, and then now you have to do the, the number of cam with this prefix. Um, and then maybe P, you know, two, well, this is a B. And then now what if this is a C? And then that's basically it, is that um, you add on to the count of the numbers that are before. Um, and this concept comes up in dynamic programming a lot, so definitely get familiar with it. Um, like I said, um, if you're struggling with this, first understand the Fibonacci one, and then maybe the Tripanacci, Tripanacci. Something like that, uh, Tribonacci. I forget how, how to say it, but basically, you know, x minus one minus two or x minus three, right? Um, and then work out those problems. And once you get that, it becomes a little bit straightforward, um, or more so anyway. And I'll go over my code, which is that, um, and of course, in this case, looking at this input, which they don't, um, you have to kind of look at the image. So not very really accessible, to be honest, if you don't have an image thing on your server. But anyway, um, so seven could be pressed four times and nine could be pressed four times. Otherwise, it's all three times. So that's why I have count is equal to three, count is equal to four. So now this is us pressing it once. Um, and then we just do a for loop to go, okay, we press it twice or three times or maybe even four times, you add the prefix. Um, and of course, you have to do some logic of like 
you know, if there's another number in between, that's not the same, you break. Um, so, but that's basically the idea. Um, and you just have to make sure that, oops, you have to make sure that you uh, take care of the mod. Um, using Python, you could be a little bit sloppier in that you, um, you know, you, and you could do some proofs here is that if you mod previously, this only is going to be four times the mod. So uh, in Python, it doesn't overflow, but in your case, it might. Um, two times mod is okay. So you just, all you have to do is just add one here instead, but that, it should be a, about the same idea. Um, but yeah. Um, this is going to be linear time and linear space, one space for each uh, press. You can actually reduce this to all of one space by keeping track only of the last four um, numbers that you're keeping track of. But I didn't do that um, just for ease of writing the code. Um, and this is, of course, this is all, all this, there's a for loop in there, but it's only going to you know run three or four times, so it's constant effectively. And basically, that's the idea. Um, cool. So yeah, my solution, like I said one more time, is linear time, linear space. You can do it in linear time and constant space. Um, I definitely recommend, um, you know, if you have, you know, maybe the next logical question is whether this may show up on an interview. I definitely recommend you getting good at this. This, this kind of problem do show up on interviews. Um, uh, so definitely get familiar with it um, and practice stuff like this. And not just practice it, but really understand how uh, why the transitions are the way they are. Hopefully I gave a good foundation, you know, maybe some parts are a little bit sketch. Anyway, you can watch me sub live in the contest, contest next. It jumps around a little bit and also like you could see me debugging for this one because I actually had an off by one somewhere here. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, like I said, this contest was a mess, so the, the video is a little bit awkward with me live, but hopefully it's still good. You could jump ahead anyway, right? You have the magic power. Anyway, and that's coming up now. Maybe 100 times 500 cubes, so it should be fast enough, though. So let's uh, uh, let's see. Do, do, do. S, okay. 7, 4 times, I'm going to add a K. Hmm. Mod, 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 mod. So let's sing the mod. So, um, and this is going to be dynamic programming. Uh, basically, it. Hmm. <clears throat> I wish they give us a way to uh, count this, but. Um, hmm. Oh, only two to nine. I was going to check for nine, but uh, um, previous is equal to, let's see. So zero, zero, uh, for zero and one, two is, so it's all three except for seven and nine. Okay, so I don't need this, I guess. Um, okay. Um, Um, this is actually a very easy contest, I think, relatively speaking. Um, um, key is equal to this. If key is equal to um, 7 or key is equal to 9, oops. Um, then what do we do? We go back up to 3 times, up to 4 times. <coughs> As long as you go to three, as you go to four, uh, C, if pressed keys of K is not equal to pressed keys of K minus I minus one, and also K minus I minus one is greater than zero, and If this is, if this is uh, less than zero, or this is true, then we break. Otherwise, uh, DP sub. Uh, oh, this is messy. Uh, let's just say let's call this X. DC of X, we add it by X minus I minus one. 
um, and of course at the very end we mod and then we return dp of n minus one um, I think this is off by one possibly but mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm done, but maybe minor uh, issues, but no submit, or it's hard to say. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to do, um, <clears throat> it's kind of funny because even with all these issues, like this would have been like a 10 minute contest or something like that. Right. So yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, we could time it, but, and there's probably some debugging that I need to do to be honest, but it's probably close. Um, So yeah, I mean, I don't have a typo. Why is this force? Maybe I don't know how to solve this, but nonetheless, I mean, I know how to solve, uh, I think this is roughly right, but maybe I have a typo somewhere. This is impossible to debug though. Uh, I thought, oh, whoops. This should be X. So I do have a lot of typos, not gonna lie. Um, but obviously I don't think these typos are kind of, like I think my, my, um, that'd be fun. Uh, yeah, well. um, like I think I have the ideas right, even if, you know, even if it's not quite right, four and one. Oh, I, this one's wrong, huh? Hmm. I mean, I, like I said, there's definitely debugging, but I like most of the code should be written. Though maybe I'm wrong, like I said. So and this is a weird contest. Um, hmm, how am I getting this far? Do, 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 do. So this is good. Otherwise, just return force, right? Yep, it should be okay. Otherwise, do, 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 do. So if Z is equal to zero, it's true. Yep, should be okay. Maybe it's a good thing that we don't count this then. Um, oh, and this should be append. Maybe it's good that I did not get this. Well, like this isn't a thing, but that's just like minus syntax thing. That said, I should still get it. Hmm. So six, one, six, zero. What am I missing on this one? Oh, it's round down. That's silly. I actually did this optimization, but it turns out that this optimization actually breaks it. That's funny. <laughs> but also that's like a easy fix, right? Like if, if we had a thing, Uh, that's a lot of stupidness on my part, actually. How did I fix this one, though? What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something weird? Oh, because I'm not counting the final thing, so yeah. Okay. I am just dumb. So this should be one exactly, and then we can do something like if grid zero zero is equal to the we 
just for like saving time i think because i don't know uh because lead code is silly um is that right nope hmm maybe I, maybe i'm uh, lying maybe i because this is not the same as why oh no hmm. seven or nine right four four can i get the other one right the other one is two 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 three um the reason is because we need this to be dp of x is equal to dp of x plus or minus one right for one number um i think maybe i'm off by something here so, um uh, it's way really tough to go back and forth on this though uh for me okay so um, yeah so okay so we do this first and then yeah okay i think this is right zero and then minus one Also, this should be, this is wrong, this should be this. Oh, look, that got accepted. So that was an easy fix. Uh, yeah, let's give it a submit. Is that right? Nope. Hmm. I, I have a weird typo somewhere. Maybe. Um, let's see. So maybe I wouldn't have done well, but but uh, mm. alright I just print the DP we should at least get the exam uh, I mean this is going to be so long and this is such a easy thing I just had a silly mistake but yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you want to chat about these problems. Uh, obviously, today's a little bit weird, uh, the video format, just because of the the server having issues. But hope you enjoyed it. Hit, uh, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Take care. Bye-bye.